the essence of the apartheid system is the exploitation of Palestinian labour and Palestinian land and water. So they market this product as environmentally friendly. But the reality is they manufacture it on stolen land and stolen water. And anyone who knows the struggle for water in Palestine knows that the Palestinian people in their own country survive on 5% of the water and the people in the settlement colonists in the settlements who had flash swimming pools full of water while Palestinian families were forced to buy bottled water. And anyone who knows the situation of water in Gaza, where the entire water system is now contaminated and the people there are totally reliant on bottled water and they are unable to repair the filtration system because of the illegal siege that condemns them to a life of destitution and water is fundamental. So it's a, it's a great irony that this company manufactures itself all around the world and it's, it, it's expanding all around the world, in fact, saying that it's an environmental alternative to, um, to soft drink. So they, met, they manufacture and missaw etamine, etamine, and not only do they exploit Palestinian labour, but just think about the life of a worker in Palestine. To get to this place, you go through numerous checkpoints. You need a piece of paper that says you have a right to work there. If you make a noise, if you argue once, they can take that piece of paper away and you lose your job, you lose your livelihood and your family loses its income. Each day it's just an experience of crossing through a wall to go to work. In some situations they live in horrible conditions in these, in these industrial camps. So for that reason, so to stretch, like all the other products, should be boycotted and we should encourage as many people as we can to respect the boycott and spread it throughout Australia so that it's one country where they are actually expanding. Thanks. That's an assault.
friends, comrades, colleagues, uh, we must draw inspiration from some recent events. That, by recent, I mean events that took place just this month. The, the BNC, which is the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions National Council, which is a coalition of Palestinian trade unions, passed a resolution warmly congratulating the South African government for adopting a principal policy to dissuade South African citizens and organizations from traveling to Palestine. In other words, a country and a people who have faced jackboots, who have faced apartheid, are with the people of Palestine. The DNC also congratulated the United Church of Canada, which is Canada's largest Protestant domination, which voted to support a boycott of goods, of Israeli goods. Goods which support apartheid are not a part and parcel of any church, any religion. Doesn't matter whether it is Christianity, whether it is whether people are secular, Muslim, Jewish, or any other faith or denomination. The BNC also welcomed the Presbyterian Church of USA, which also passed a motion to boycott all products from Israeli colonial settlements in the occupied Palestine. It called on all nations to prohibit the import of products made by enterprises in Israeli settlements on Palestinian land. In other words, friends, you have taken the trouble to come here, but let us all draw comfort from the fact that we are in very good company. But there is good news closer to home in Melbourne. 16 Palestine act solidarity activists who were arrested during a pro-boycott demonstration have been cleared of charges of trespassing and besetting by an Australian court. Last month, on the 23rd of the July, that was a landmark victory for freedom of expression and for the campaign to defend the rights of Palestinians for their Max Brenner protests. The magistrate said that people were not in breach of the law. It was a peaceful demonstration against a company which boasts and proclaims on the rooftops its support to the worst divisions of the Israeli Defense Force. The two brigades which have been implicated in horrendous crimes, war crimes and crimes against humanity, in wars, in unprovoked attacks on civilians, I mean women, I mean children. Brigades which have been involved in shelling and destroying hospitals and schools in Lebanon and the worst, the worst crimes were committed in Operation Cast Lead. I salute the Australian court, which have not just upheld freedom of expression in Australia, but which went against the wishes of our politicians who support apartheid, who support Israel in its criminal occupation, in its criminal abuse of human rights. And God, this court had the decency and the values to stand up against apartheid. Apartheid is a crime. It does not belong in the 21st century. Good on you, Dad. Occupation is a crime too. Why did our soldiers go down to Europe to fight wars? Was it only to defend European land? Was it only to defend European freedom? Why do us politicians support the occupation of another land? It is a, it is a scandal. It is a shame. These politicians who support apartheid and our occupation 
and abuse of human rights are not Australian. Thank you, and thank you for your solidarity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just to wrap it up today, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. Um, we've been doing this now for, we're moving into our second year. And when we started this campaign, we made a commitment that it would be sustainable, and I think we've proved that. For two years now, we've come and we've raised the boycott in our city, in our suburbs. And I think before we leave here, we should commit ourselves to doing that again, because the reality is, in that two years, things are growing even more dire. Things are growing even more desperate. We witnessed this year the mass hunger strike of 3,000 people in the prison. This crime for justice, this claim for justice, can only be fought through the starvation of themselves to near death. It is those people we are here to support. It is the Palestinians that walk daily through checkpoints, who live in the shadow of the wall, who face the bombs that are dropped regularly on Gaza. So before you go, commit yourselves to turning up. Commit yourself to bringing more people to these. I think we made a good point. We had some fairly chilled out experiences in a number of locations. I think the Myers Centre, uh, they're probably getting a little tired of our presence. But the message to them is, for two years we haven't gone away. And we will be back. And I guarantee you that one day, history will look back. That store will be closed. Palestine will be free. And we can look back and say that our small actions were a part of that campaign to win the freedom of the Palestinian people.